Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are taking a look at some shakedown runs of a different tune in my HTCZ. But we're not going to be using the HTCZ anymore. We're going to be going into a new project. But before we get into a new project, because it'll make more sense, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a backstory on where the name Evil Rabbit came from. So a lot of people have asked where the name Evil Rabbit came from and how did it how did I create this name and this persona? Well, it actually originated back when I first started driving I uh, actually got a 2007 Volkswagen Rabbit and I started racing autocross with it as well as driving it on the daily and one of the events that I went to um, I had my engine cover painted you know with blood splatter red paint on it and the tech was like oh man this thing looks evil and then when I got called up to do my run the uh, announcer said oh, everybody the cone marshal watch out the evil rabbits on track and the name kind of just stuck so I had that car for many, many years. It went through various transitional changes into, you know, different tiled wheels and back. And as you note here in the window, the Evil Rabbit European plate, which you guys have probably seen in some videos. So the name kind of stuck with that. Since I owned a 2007 Rabbit, the name Evil Rabbit stuck after racing with it. And, you know, I, like I said, I had that for many, many years, and I ended up selling it a few years ago. And definitely was a very fun car and I had a lot of fun with it took it all over the place went to deals gap drove deals gap with it raced it in Florida as well as you know in Ohio and stuff like that and you know it was on CC and Chilago wheels when I sold it full roof rack and everything like that and you know, so that is just a little backstory on where the name evil rabbit came from because you know it's you know when you're creating a persona or a nickname you know happens sometime and it sticks you kind of just go with it so that's where the name evil rabbit came from i've had a lot of people ask me where did the name come from how did you get the name evil rabbit well that's a little backstory for you guys on where the name came so that brings me to the new project that i'm going to work so evil rabbit for me is been a nickname of mine since the beginning so volkswagen was where i started my career uh, i started my career at a Volkswagen dealership in Florida and now I work for BMW but Volkswagen was where it all started because it was my first street car and things like that so let's get into the new project so when I say new project that is this right here taking a WRC Polo rally car and making it into a drift car so with a little bit of backstory of knowing where the evil rabbit name came from it would be only fitting that i do a volkswagen build for a comp car so we are here to t shake down this of course i'm going to be doing the modeling and everything more on this you know removing most of the interior changing out the wheels doing all kinds of cool things to this car to make it more of a drift car so we do have the suspension set up and everything set up for drifting nothing is perfect but the physics and everything are there so we're gonna go shake this down today and then we will get into more of the modeling and things of that nature and the videos will probably be going up you know on the channel as well as on the patreon page so building a WRC rally car into a drift car is my new project because it suits me very well when it comes to the name Evil Rabbit and this, you know, YouTube persona with the name, knowing my backstory. So let's uh, let's go shake this car down some. So this car is massively loud, and I love the turbo flutter that this car has, and the crack. car is about 800 horsepower and it is fully set up with about 70 70 ish degrees with the steering angle and I've just done the physics and the power and everything of that we haven't gotten fully into obviously the modeling of the car so we have converted this from all the drive to rear wheel drive all oh, this car is loud and we're gonna go full shakedown on this so let me know what you guys think of this project down in the comment section down below. Oh, we hit a cone. Mm -hmm. 
So a little bit shaky on the entry, but the car seems to be handling the physics and everything pretty well, actually. You definitely got to get some wise fab in the front because it looks very weird with nothing in the wheel wells. But for a first run out here at OSW with this car, definitely a lot of fun. Having a hatchback, you know, is kind of like, you know, cheating when it comes to drifting in a sense. Osbo and Ryan Turk run those hatchbacks. And it's just, you can get so much closer to a wall. And the chase car behind you has a little bit of a disadvantage when it comes to getting close to a wall. But I feel like this car would suit me very well and be very different. Because I feel like I'd be the only one out there with a polo competition drift car. Just got to make sure the comps allow hatchbacks, which I believe they do, as long as it meets all the other requirements. And for first shake of this car with the wheelbase being so short compared to some of the other cars that I've tested. This is uh, handling quite well. It's not super twitchy, which I expected it kind of to be really twitchy, that cone. Oh, I expected it to be really twitchy, but it's actually doing quite well. And uh, I'm slightly impressed with how the car is handling with just a first try. And I definitely love how this car sounds. That little turbo flutter and the crackle when you're shifting into gears from like the anti-lag system, it's definitely fun. There it is. This little wall tap, we're good. Hung that one way out longer than I needed to. doing my own basically little spotlight on this new build project let me know what you guys think about this idea of taking this wrc polo and making a drift car out of it because i mean i'm having a lot of fun and i've just started it so let's take the car to irwindale because we always take cars to irwindale to finish episodes off so we are here at irwindale in the polo drift car start and we're gonna see what we can do with it. Definitely gotta change the wheels. Like I said, I love the way the car sounds and you know the shifting, the anti-lag system. And the cracks when you're changing gears reminds me of Ryan Turk's old car before he switched into the Corolla. So we're gonna go Irwindale, see what we can do with it. First time on Irwindale with this car actually. They kind of medium to high. Alright, so the car wants to definitely drift up a little bit more. Didn't want to wreck the car in the first run. So that's something I'm going to be mindful of going into the second take. You know, this is, like I said, brand new style to me. It's very short. It's a lot twitchier than a lot of my other cars. So it's definitely a different style car, which is definitely be good for future uh, UTC comps being such a small car. Gonna let it float up to the wall. Definitely may have to change the tires and things of that nature. But I think I have a new favorite car that we're going to make into a full blown out competition spec car with the high mount brake lights, front brake light, you know, window banners, and full you know, gutted out interior and things of that nature. Of course, you guys know when you're moving the side windows and doing more modeling, changing out the seats, steering wheels, and things of that nature on the inside of the car. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and follow me because I will be continuously updating you guys on the progression of this car. One final run here for today's episode in the Polo Rally Car Drift Car Project. Oh, we fell off. The gear ratio is maybe a little bit off. There we go. We got this. Oh, <laughs> as we say that, we go hard in the wall. So I'll do it for you for this episode. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All of which you found in the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.